Hi there. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a simple business card in InDesign. So let's get started. Please be aware that how you set the design is equally important at this stage, because once you learn that, it will become easy for you to set your color combination, the fonts, etc. I'm in the process of creating a new document and I'm going to go to the print tab and click view all presets. You'll find the US business card preset sitting there. So just click it and then change the units to inches. Let's uncheck facing pages box and increase the number of pages to two. I'm also going to reduce the margins to 0.125 inch and add a bleed of 2 mm as I'll be using elements that will extend to the outer edge of the card and hit create. Now that my document is ready, the first thing I'm going to do is change the ruler unit to millimeters and to do that, take your cursor to the ruler, right click and from the drop down, change it to millimeters. Similarly, do it for the vertical ruler as well. Now we need to establish the center of the page, both horizontally and vertically. So let's grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle extending from left to right, including the bleed. Now drag a guide from the vertical ruler and place it at the center of the rectangle we've just created. Now extend this rectangle to touch the top and bottom of the artboard, including the bleed. Drag another guide from the ruler above and place it at the center of the artboard. Now you can delete this rectangle. Next, let's drag the ruler from the corner to reset it to zero at the top left bleed. Now drag a guide from the ruler above and drop it at 10 mm. So basically it's 8 mm since our bleed space is 2 mm and we need to do this all around. So let's drag the ruler from the corner once again and this time drop it at the bottom left corner to reset it there. And then drop another guide at 10 mm from bottom. Similarly, reset the ruler at the top left position once again and drop another guide from the vertical ruler and drop it at 10 mm from the left. Lastly, reset the ruler at the top right corner and drop a guide at 10 mm from the right. Now grab the rectangle tool once again and make a rectangle at the center left position and center align it with the help of the guide we had placed earlier. Now holding option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, click, hold and drag the rectangle to make a copy of it and place it at the top of the artboard and center align it using the guide we had placed earlier. Now grab the pen tool and join the six points between these two rectangles. Holding shift while clicking will ensure that your lines are straight. Once your shape is made, you can delete the two rectangles. Next, select the shape and fill it with some color. I'm going to fill it with this rusty brown color for now. I might change it later once the card is ready. Now with the shape selected, go to edit and then copy to copy it. Then go back to edit and select paste in place to paste another copy in the same place. With the shape still selected, click the flip horizontal button to flip the copied shape. Now holding shift, click and drag the shape to fit it to the right side of the artboard. Once both the shapes are set in their positions, select them and go to edit and then copy to copy them and then go back to edit and select paste in place to place the copy. With the copied shapes still selected, click the flip vertical option this time from the toolbar above and then drag them to fit them at the bottom of the artboard. Hit W to check the preview of the design so far. Now come out of the preview mode and let's grab the rectangle tool once again and make a rectangle covering the entire artboard, including the bleed. Now send this rectangle back by hitting shift command and left bracket on a Mac or shift control and left bracket on a PC. Let's also lower the opacity of the black rectangle a bit. So let's bring it down to about 88%. Hit the W key for a preview. Now let's add some text to our business card. 
So grab the type tool and make a text box in the center. Type in a name, so I'm gonna type in Andrew Garcia, and then change the font color to white. Let's also change the font to a serif font, so let me pick it from the classification here, so that it just shows me serif fonts. Now let me pick one from here. I think I'll go with Sticks General. Let's also center align it. I'll also increase the font size to 14 points and extend the text box to accommodate our text and center align the box to the artboard. And now is the right time to hit W for a preview. Perfect. Let's grab the type tool once again and make another text box right below this one and type in property officer. Let's also change the font color to white and then center align it. I'm going to change the font of this text to Baskerville and also reduce the font size to eight points. Let's center align this new text box to the one above it. So select them both and then click the one on top to base the alignment on. And from the alignment option on top, click the align horizontal centers option. Let's check the preview once again. I think one side of the card is ready. So let's select all and copy the elements by hitting command C on a Mac or control C on a PC and then move to page two and hit command V on a Mac or control V on a PC to paste the elements. Now align the elements to the center of page two. Let's grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle in the center of the artboard center align it and then hit command and left bracket on a Mac or control and left bracket on a PC to send this rectangle a layer back. Let's select the rectangle once again and pick the eyedropper tool from the toolbar on the left and click once on the outer shape to steal its color. Let's change the text to tropical luxury estate and extend the text box to accommodate the entire text. Also, right-click the text box and select Ungroup. Now, let's select the name of the company and reduce the font size to 11 points. And also center align it to the rectangle we've placed it on using the alignment option on top. Now, drag the smaller text box down. Extend it to accommodate the text we are about to type in. And then type in the text. Let's reduce the font size further down. Let's drag the name of the company closer to the top of the rectangle. Actually, let's bring the entire address to one line and then in the second line, I'm going to type in the email address and a phone number. I'm going to further reduce the size of the font and now let's check the preview of this page and the first page as well. I think I'll change the color to something else. So holding command on a Mac or control on a PC, Select these outer shapes as well as the rectangle in the center and then change the color to this green. Yeah, I think this one is looking better. Now let's move to the first page and make the selection and change the color of the elements. Congratulations guys, you've just learned how to create a business card in InDesign. All right, guys, that brings our session to a close and it's time for a short break as well. So I'm going to see you in the next one in just a bit. Goodbye.